welcome to the next tutorial on this channel. In the last part we have learned about some useful shortcuts in FWSIM. In this video we will take a closer look at the timeline and show you some tricks how to work more efficiently. Let's go! First I'll add some music and some fireworks. Now I like to show you how to navigate really quickly in the timeline. On the right you can see a fader. We can use this to zoom in and out. Alternatively, we can press the control key and use the mouse wheel. To add some more lines, we can simply click on a cue, hold the left mouse button and drag it down. New lines will be automatically added, as many as you need. To navigate in the timeline, you can use the horizontal and vertical scroll bars. But there are other ways. You can simply click and hold your mouse wheel inside the timeline area. You can also use the arrow keys on your keyboard to scroll one second forwards or backwards. If you want to jump to the beginning or to the end of your show directly, you can press the home or end keys. To add music, simply select the file in Windows Explorer and drop it onto the timeline. When you add music, that music is usually displayed both inside the timeline and on top of it. If you want to move it around, drag it in the timeline. When you have found the right position for your music, we suggest you hide it from the timeline to get more space. You can do that by right clicking on any free space in the timeline and disabling show music in timeline. In order to position your fireworks more accurately, you might want to see the music waveform in more detail. You can right click on the top area of the timeline and select 200% to make it larger. If you want to change how many lines you can see at once, simply go to tools and click on preferences. Here you can adjust the size of your lines with the fader, vertical zoom and show editor. You can also make the entire timeline area bigger or smaller. To select multiple cues, you have two options. You can drag a rectangle with your mouse or keep the shift key pressed. You can also keep the shift key pressed and drag multiple rectangles. We hope you find these tips and shortcuts useful. Don't miss our next video in which we talk about 3D models and environment settings.